What's up, YouTube? This is Uncle Zach, and yes, I'm back. Today's review is over Emir Factory Vish Edition Campfire. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So this this brand is again. It's another um, uh, brand that's. I guess. I think it's Paris Corner. Let me see. Is this Paris Corner? Yeah, it's a Paris Corner brand. Emir Factory Edition. It is um, uh, a section that is uh, cloning the. Maison Margiela replica uh, line of fragrances. And so this one in particular is supposedly a clone of uh, Maison Margiela's uh, replica by the fireplace. Now to the left, you see a Mir Al Oud, Intense Oud. That's been kind of the most popular quote unquote clone of um, by the fireplace. Uh, for a while now and so this line came out uh here recently i think within the past year or so and uh we're finally getting around to uh reviewing this now uh this one is roughly about forty dollars at uh fragrance you may be able to get to some other places for a different price but that's what it costs there uh, now, by the fireplace, I think it's a four. It's about maybe one hundred and forty-four dollars, um, and uh, so of course that's a, that's a big price difference. Now, let me say this: this is one that has, you know, pretty much the same scent profile. However, it's definitely not as strong as by the fire fireplace. So let me be clear about that on this one. It's not as strong as the original that it is, it is cloning. So that alone is is probably enough for most of you to not want it. Some of you may want it. I'm not sure. It smells good, but it's definitely not uh, as strong as by the fireplace. Now, uh, if you if you have never smelled by the fireplace or you don't own it, let me explain to you. It, it's it's very strong. Uh, it has a kind of a, a, a sweetness to it, and it also has a, a fireplace smell, like an authentic fireplace smell type of smell, meaning you know burnt wood. It's very realistic, uh, awesome scent scent profile. Uh, they did the job on that one. Now, uh, to the left is a Miral Oud Intense Oud, and let me tell you, I actually got this couple years ago by by accident because I was trying to get um, Latafa's Amir Al Oud, just a regular Amir, Amir Al Oud. And the eBay seller that I was using at the time was like, no, you need to get this. This is better, blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, I'll try it. And I was blown away when I got it. And uh, this, it really wasn't, you know, on everybody's radar. Nobody was talking about it or anything. And so I did a review on it. And, you know, of course, all, all of a sudden, everybody started buying it. But um, I don't really, I didn't really think that it was a, a clone of By the Fireplace. I think they had some similarities. Uh, but I don't, I didn't really necessarily think of it as a, as a clone of By the Fireplace. Because like I said, By the Fireplace has this very intense burnt, burnt wood fireplace uh, accord to it. And Amir Aoud doesn't have that. It has a little bit of it, but it doesn't have that particular accord. Um, now, when you talk about, well, let, let me get into the notes. I always <laughs> skip over that, but let me get into the notes of Amir Factory Edition Campfire. So the notes, top notes are cloves, pink pepper, orange blossom. Um, you have heart notes, you have, in the mid, you have uh, chestnut, Gaiac wood and juniper. In the base, you have vanilla, uh, Peru, balsam, and 
Kashmir, is that, what is that? Kashmir, Kashmirin, I never heard of that. Uh, so those are the notes and, and, and let me say this, if I was going to tell you to get something as an alternative to buy the fireplace, it would still be a Miral Oud and Tinsu. This is okay. I can I can say it's not a bad fragrance, but it just doesn't have the intensity of either one, the one that is cloning and then this alternative. It, it, it just isn't as intense. Um, now, if you want something that's a little bit lighter uh, than the original or even this Amir al -Oud, you know, you can go ahead and get this. But I would steer you towards Amir al -Oud, Intensive. Um, I really don't consider the replica by the fireplace to be expensive. I mean, I know it's $144, but for what you get, it's a, it's a niche fragrance. It smells very unique and authentic. Uh, you can you can get that, but I think you would, uh, you know, you would, I mean, this Amir Alu Intense Oud is like 23 bucks at fragrancebuy.ca. I mean, strong, long lasting, has a, a very uh, strong scent. I mean, I would, I think that's the best value. Uh, this is okay, okay. So, so some of you guys out there to let you know, like I don't like everything that I I put on this channel as much as you know you would think. Uh, again, I'm not saying this is a bad fragrance because I don't necessarily review bad fragrances, but um, I'm just trying to steer you guys towards the best value. And I think this Amir Al Oud Intense Oud is the best value. Um, so um, if you if you if you want this by the fireplace type of scent, I would say that campfire is good. It's it's okay, but you know most people want something that's strong and it's going to last a long time. And I'm not, I'm not saying this doesn't last a long time. I'm saying the intensity of the scent profile is not as strong as the best value, which is Amir Al Oud and Tinsu. Um, so it does have the the campfire scent. It you know it's just not as strong and it's not as intense as replicas by the fireplace, of course. But if I was to tell you to go out and purchase something, I wouldn't necessarily say go out and purchase this. If you're looking to get this same type of scent, I would go with Amir Alud Intensu. All right. Signature Scent Reviews signing off. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for stopping by. And again, this review is over Paris Corners Emir Factory Edition Campfire. I appreciate your time. Thanks again for the new subscribers. Peace.